Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Mark and you're watching Gas Tax, the channel that's here to help you figure out how to build your dream garage. Behind me is my Jeep Gladiator Launch Edition, and today I'm going over the first 10 accessories I decided to buy for it. So let's jump right into it. So guys, thanks a lot for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. Be sure to leave me a like and subscribe if you like my content. And if you're a long time subscriber, always good to have you back. So I just got this 2020 Jeep Gladiator Launch Edition two weeks ago, and I absolutely love this thing. It is the perfect car for me right now. But that being said, there are some things I wanted to improve. So here are the first 10 accessories I've purchased for the Jeep Gladiator. So first off on the list, I got myself a keychain. It is a leather handled keychain with the hook. I do a lot of boating in the summer and I don't like dropping my keys into the water. So I always make sure I get a hook for my keys. That baby cost me $13. Next up on the list is a bulletproof phone mount with a GoPro mount as well. I figure I'll be taking this uh, Jeep Gladiator on some road trips. So great to have a, a mount for the camera. But also I got the passenger side mount because the auxiliary plug-in for your phone is on the passenger side. So that should be a great accessory. That was $79.99. Now one of the great reasons about the Jeep Gladiator Launch Edition, it's fully loaded and it comes with that 8.4 inch LCD. Uh, one thing that I don't like about that is you can see the fingerprints. So luckily I found a screen protector that apparently reduces the fingerprints. So let's see if that works. That baby sent me back $10. Next off, I got a grab handle tray. So right in front of the passenger front seat, there's the grab handle. This is just a little tray that slops in there. So my wife has somewhere to put her phone. That sent me back $13. And number five on the list is a locker down center console gun safe. There's two reasons for this. I do plan on removing the roof and the doors and leaving the, the Gladiator like that all the time. So it's also great to have a steel safe in the car. And then I do go to the gun range every now and then. So it's great to have an actual gun safe for the Gladiator. That baby sent me back $309. Now, I did buy this car to take the doors and the windshield and everything down. One thing I didn't get when I bought the Gladiator were the windshield tie-down straps. So I picked those up for 35 bucks. Especially because I want to take this baby off-road, I wanted to protect the carpets with the all-weather OEM mats. So I picked those up and I think I got them at a great price at $119. Number eight on the list are the door sill protectors. This truck is a pretty high truck and I do have a dog and the dog does jump into the back. Uh, one thing he does do is he rests his paws on the door sill before he decides to jump in. And I can just see those getting scratched up. So I did get the front and rear seat door sill protectors. Something that most of you probably know already is the front fenders uh, rarely trap debris. So you got tree debris, rocks, pebbles, and that rubs against the hood. So I picked up some uh, rubber tubing and that I can push in between there to make sure that area stays gravel free and protected. Now, number 10 on the list, which unfortunately I haven't received, I don't know when that's coming in, but I'm gonna mention it anyway, is a retractable bed step. So this bed is higher than my F-150 bed, and I did have the fold out uh, step for the F-150. Yeah, maybe that's a grandpa step, but guess what? I'm a big guy climbing up here, I need some help. So it just pops off the side, I'll put an image down below for you on that. Uh, and I think that's gonna be a great addition to getting in and out of the truck bed. That sent me back $247. So those were my first 10 accessories I decided to get for the Jeep Gladiator. Sure, there's gonna be more, but hopefully I pointed out something that you might want to get for your Jeep. So there are links below to each one of my accessories I got, and hopefully the pricing stays the same, but always check back, there might be deals. If you haven't checked out my website, gastax.com, I always update every Thursday the list of deals you can find online. It goes from garage accessories to cabinets to Jeep parts. I will always find deals and list them on there to help you guys outfit your garage or your Jeep. So until next time, thanks a lot for tuning in. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you then.